Welcome to the tutorial on using the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. In 7th grade terms, or layman's terms, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the triangle and c is the hypotenuse. The legs of the triangle are joining to the right angle. The hypotenuse is opposite of the right angle. When I try to solve Pythagorean Theorem problems, I like to take my information and rewrite it out to the side so I see what I have and what I need. In this problem, A is equal to 6 centimeters, B is equal to 8 centimeters, and C is what we're looking for. I also like to rewrite my formula so that I don't forget. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Since A is equal to 6, I will substitute A with 6 plus B squared. B is equal to 8, so I now have 8 squared. And since I don't yet know C, I will leave C squared. 6 squared is 36, plus 8 squared, which is 64, is going to be equal to C squared. I know that 36 plus 64 is 100. Therefore, I know that C squared must equal 100. If I know that C squared is 100, in order to find out C, I must find the square root of 100. Therefore, C is 10 centimeters. What I would, of course, go back to do is plug in my values and check it in my original equation. So 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, and 10 squared is 100. 36 plus 64 equals 100. Therefore, I solved that one correctly. Sometimes you might get a problem that doesn't give you A and B. Let's look at this right triangle. In this right triangle, I will label my legs A and B, they form the right angle, and my hypotenuse C. I will then rewrite my pieces of information. In this problem, A equals 10 centimeters, B is our unknown, and C equals 12 centimeters. As I start the problem, I will once again rewrite my formula before I begin. In this problem, I will substitute A with 10, so I have 10 squared, plus B, we don't know what B is, so we will leave it B squared, and C is 12 centimeters, so we'll write 12 squared. I'm going to compute my squares. I have 100 plus B squared equals 144. I have a simple equation now. All I need to do is subtract 100 on each side of my equation to find out that B squared is equal to 44. To find out what just b equals, I need to find the square root of 44, and I will use a decimal approximation when using my Pythagorean theorem problems in this unit. Therefore, b is about 6 and 63 hundredths centimeters. That is our tutorial on the Pythagorean theorem. One important thing to note is Pythagorean theorem may only be used on right triangles. Have a great day.